Hi guys, JP from FSI Panel. On this video, we will see a new feature of FSI Panel 2020 Advanced Edition for the PMDG 777-300ER. Why the 777 only? Because she is flying long haul, very long sectors, and the SDK of um, PMDG is so nice that you can basically interact with a lot of different systems on the aircraft which is unfortunately, unfortunately sorry, not the case with all the add-ons. And I think we should have this kind of feature on a long haul airliner rather than having it on the uh, Airbus or 320 or 737. Then we can just adjust the time and the speed of the simulator to save some time. But here we might be in the air for 15, 16 hours and sometimes we don't just have the time to stay behind the computer and what we want to do is just complete the descent and the arrival destination. Before I forget, please subscribe to the channel and let me show you what you can do here. I'm on the way to New York. I departed Geneva and I'm flying eight hours sector to GFK. Unfortunately, I do not have the time to stay behind the computer for another seven hours and a half. So what I want to do now is move the aircraft to the top of descent and have the correct fuel, correct timing, and everything set up properly. So let me show you how we can do that. Okay, here I'm in the, my cockpit cruising since one hour and 25 minutes, approaching the position. Lulox at fly level 340, I have a step climb, which I don't really mind if I want to move forward to the destination. So basically, if we go to the uh, plan page, you can see here my all routing to uh, New York. And that's quite a long way. Crossing the Atlantic and then descending. We can see here that the top of descent is just before Providence PVD waypoint. So what I'd like to do is position the aircraft right there and have the correct value, weight and time as if I would stay behind the control for the next seven hours. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Now, if we look in the legs page, and we go to uh, Providence, as we want to move there. PVD, this is right there. If I go to root data, then I can see that I should be there at 1713 Zulu. So let's write it down, just to remember and check if everything is working as expected. And we should have about 12.8 tons of fuel on board over there. Right now we have 53.9. Good, so this is what we are expecting. And we are ready to move. So how do we do that? Very easy, let me show you. You just start FSI panel and you use the new feature. So here we are in FSI panel. PMDG 777-300ER has been detected. What you have to do is select your destination airport. So we are going to Kennedy. Runway is not that important, but I will still select the uh, runway that I was expecting to land to to right. But you need to select a runway. And now you go to the select fix. And on the select fix, you have this new beta feature only for the 777. This is the slew to flight plan waypoint. So you click there and then you can go back to your 777. Now you can see the instruction retrieving your flight plan waypoint from the FMC. Please wait. And you can see that on the right FMC, something is happening, FSI panel, is reading all the waypoint data. Once this is done, you get the next instruction, which is as written right now on the top left of your screen. On first officer FMC, put the desired waypoint on top of the legs page. So just like a direct to and do not execute. So this is what we want. Remember Providence 1713 12.8. So I will go to the first officer side and I will do exactly what FSI panel asked me to do. So I will go and look for Providence. This is it. And I will put it on page one. To go on page one, either you go previous, previous, or just click legs and that will bring page one. Put it on top and then everything will happen. So I put it on top and now I just wait. Moving your aircraft to Providence. Let's go back to uh, the captain's seat. Here, you might have some difference in the altitude, so do not touch anything. You can see the heading bug set correctly. 
Now the aircraft will be climbing to flight level 340. As we have different atmospheric pressure, we might have slight differences. And this is why the altitude is not perfectly set, but we are correcting. And once this is done, VNAV should be engaged. So let's wait until we're at flight level 340. And then FSI panel will tell us that everything is ready. So we are approaching slowly flight level 340. We can see Providence around 30 miles in front of us. Coming now to 340. Okay, 340, fine. Just push VNAV. If not engaged, then you have to correct VNAV. And now we are going to check the value that we have right there. So if I go to my next page, root data, now we can see that we're expecting Providence at 1713 Zulu. That's correct. And the fuel, we have a bit extra, that's fine. So it's roughly the same fuel. As you can see, 12.8, we have 12.6, and we are reaching Providence. So basically, you moved your aircraft to the right position, and the timing on your simulator is set as well to what you expect. So you, you will basically get the correct timing. So that's how easy you can do it. One thing, FSI panel will not do the step climb. So if you need to do step climb, just make sure then you could climb now. Now it will not make sense because we are very close to top of descent, but FSI panel will not do the step climb. So you move, the you move to the next waypoint and climb if you need to, or if you are able to with the weight, but the aircraft will be positioned at the same altitude as uh, the one you were at the time you request to move. Do not move the aircraft past the top of descent as you will be too high, okay? So if I move to Parch at flight level 340, the aircraft will be 30 miles before Parch, but at flight level 340, so too high. So the idea of that feature is to move your aircraft anywhere. You can move it mid-Atlantic if you don't want to fly the full flight, maybe only half of it. You can choose basically any waypoint from your actual position to the top of descent. FSI panel will move it 30 miles before the waypoint and will set everything for you. Another thing you will see or you might see, and we discussed that on the previous video if you saw it, the fuel is maybe not correct on PROGS page 2. So if you go to PROGS page 2, you see that we used 2 tons because I moved the aircraft already in cruise and then I moved it in the demonstration and the to totalizer says 12.4. So after a while, you will get a fuel disagree message on your ACAS here. And the only thing you have to do is press that line here. It says basically use, and it says use on the right side. And then we just select use the totalizer, which is the actual fuel. That will clear your master caution. And now you can basically continue your flight without any master caution. So as you can see, I'm top of descent in New York in two minutes and I have exactly the right figures as if I was behind the control for eight hours. The only thing we cannot change right there is the elapsed time, unfortunately, but the rest seems to be all correct. So this is still a beta feature. Let me know what you think about it. Give it a good sh uh, a shot and please leave your comment in the section down below or in the forum or in the Discord channel. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and I see you very soon for another video. Thank you, bye-bye.